Marvin, uh, as a university president, what can higher education leaders be doing to help address some of these challenges that Tabby talked about? So thank you very much. And I was very pleased to be part of the STEVE Fund report, which really emphasized the importance of higher ed, acknowledging the challenges posed by the pandemic to students of color, particularly black students, and really to embrace the challenge and to be very uh, intentional about that. And so one of the things that we understand is that this time has been particularly challenging for first generation, low income students of color, um, whether it's through the illness, um, the techno availability of technology, um, social justice questions, financial challenges, and also the sense of community that, that Tabby just talked about can be much more challenging in a remote environment. We know that peer mentoring and informal contact between faculty and staff has been reduced. And so we need to be able to really um, commit to trying to increase that. And, and so we as an institution, and I think most institutions have been called upon to be very careful and very clear about really trying to think about the needs of the students. And we know that many students of color um, have, have dropped out um, and that low income students have been disproportionately affected. And so what we know we need to do is really um, commit as an institution and as a community to, uh, to reaching out and making sure that students have the support they need. Um, because the consequences, if we don't, are very significant, not just for the individuals and their families. We know that college graduates earn much more money, have much more financial stability, but we also think that there's really something important at stake for the country, uh, including the loss of human capital and, and the further divide uh, between us, as well as um, the loss of productivity.